and welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> everyone welcome back to my channel it's Karen here um yeah it's been a while I've been good I thought I would just film this video to just talk about like everything that's been happening um because yeah last last you guys know I left orientation and it's been a little over a month now it is October 2nd <laughs> oops it's October 2nd, so I've been in Korea for over a month, um, like a month and a half maybe? Oh, wow. Um, so yeah, I've done a lot, but I've been doing a really bad job of filming it. So I have some videos from different things that I've done, but I'm gonna talk about it and then probably like put the videos over it. Um, so bear with me, I have a list things to talk about okay so first school life that's my school life so i am in Cheongju, which is um it's a city of like it's a, it's a big city I, I don't know how many people i think it's like 800 000. um so it's definitely it's a city but for like korean standards a lot of people are like oh you're in like a small city because like they compare it to like seoul or busan which are like massive but you know it's pretty big like I live in a pretty big city which is good um I like it a lot um that wasn't even school life anyways school life so I teach at um three elementary schools so my first one I'm at, I have a main school and then two travel schools which are a little bit further out um from the city so I'm at my main school three days a week and that school is actually like right across the street from my apartment so it's really nice like I have to wake up like a lot later which is nice um but yeah so at that school i teach fifth and sixth grade and i am with a co-teacher so i teach the co-teacher teaches like the book stuff and then i do like the 20 minutes like a game or activity um like led in english so i really like that i think it's a nice like transition into teaching just since i don't have a lot of experience with that yet um but i really like the kids at this school there <laughs> they're a lot of energy that's for sure they're a lot of energy but they i think they're really excited about learning and i think they like me which is nice whenever i, I see them outside of school like a decent amount because i live so close and so a lot of them will say hi um which is nice so on tuesday and thursdays i am at my two travel schools which are a little bit further out um, and here I teach the whole 40 minute lessons um, and there is a homeroom teacher in the room to help with like translation and like management that kind of stuff but um, like I'm the main teacher so I have to like do the whole the whole lesson which is difficult um, but I'm I'm learning and I hopefully will improve a lot more um, as I get used to teaching but I like it a lot and the students there they're a lot smaller classes and so i think that i am able to like actually get to know some of the students better which is really nice uh, teaching is fun teaching is an adventure there's always a story like you leave school the day and there's so many stories all right so other than teaching yeah i've been i've been busy but also i've been made, i make sure that I have time just to relax so um i've been you know binge netflix binging and like that kind of stuff because that's just what i like to do so i need to make sure that i have some time to do that um but some of the things that i have done let's see beginning beginning of september i um went to the ciee orientation so it was a weekend orientation in seoul where basically the goal was just to connect with other CIE teachers um, so that you have a network there and so we had a little bit of like workshop stuff in the morning but mostly just like, um, like fun stuff and so despite the uh, typhoon that was there that weekend we've actually had three typhoons while I've been in Korea but that one was the worst apparently like it was like really bad 
<laughs> Despite the typhoon, we had a really fun time. Um, we had lunch at this Chinese place where the owner was very, very gracious with us. Um, and yeah, our original plans had to be changed because of the typhoon. So we spent Saturday at Coex Mall where I walked around and saw there was like a dance competition going on. So I saw some of that. Um, and the thing that I really liked, I went to the uh, SM Artium Coex. I don't know what it's called, but it's basically like SM Entertainment. There's like a store there and uh, a museum and like stuff for like their artists. And so that was a lot of fun. I spent more money than I was hoping, but that's okay. I bought an album. I bought a water bottle. Um, what else? I didn't have time to go to the museum, so I'm just gonna go back. Oh, hello. Yes, baby. Uh, yes, and so then that night we went to dinner at like a nice, like traditional Korean place with lots of food, and then we did Norebang that night, which was a lot of fun. Um, but I don't have any videos of either of that. So then the next day we had lunch at this place like outside of Itaewon, which if you don't know, like in Seoul, Itaewon's like the like area where there's a lot of foreigners. Um, so after lunch, me and some of my new friends wandered around for a little bit. Um, and that was pretty much it. So I actually didn't really get to explore much of Seoul but it's super close. It was like an hour and 45 minutes to get there on the bus. So that was a really fun weekend. I met a lot of really awesome people. Yeah, so then the following week, maybe, uh, following week? I don't remember. Sometime after that was Chuseok, which um, Chuseok is kind of like Korea's Thanksgiving holiday. So it's um, in September instead of November. And because of that, we had Thursday and Friday off um, and then like the weekend and so for that I decided to visit some of my friends in Daejeon I don't have a lot of video of that but um, I will upload a separate video of our time at O World which is like Daejeon's amusement park it's kind of for kids but um, I actually filmed a lot of video there because we had a fun day um, so yeah so look forward to that video in the future um, but it was a lot of fun. We just kind of hung out and, you know, explored. So that was good. So yeah, other than that, I've like been trying to balance my time between like going other places and exploring Chengdu. Um, I've only recently started to explore Chengdu. This past week, no, last week. Yes, last week I went to a festival at um, Tungbu National University, which is like the bigger university here. Um, I don't know what the festival was, to be honest. Could not tell you. Um, people in my group chat were like, hey, there's a festival and there's gonna be some artists there. Like, mostly, well, the day I went was like mostly hip hop artists, but I think the day before had some like ballad singers. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. I went with two of my friends and <laughs> we just walked around. They had some really good food. I got takoyaki and a delicious uh, banana Nutella crepe. Oh, it was so good. Wow. I don't really have much video from the performances. Who who performed? I don't know the name of the first person. I think it's PH1, I think is his name. Uh, the next one was Simon Dominic, and I know him. Simon. And one of my friends is like a big fan, so like that was really interesting. But yeah, I had a lot of fun with that. And then <laughs> this past weekend, I'm laughing because it was a disaster, but a lot of fun. <laughs> so I just okay. So this past weekend, I went to Incheon um, with one of two of my other, well, one of my friends who lives there and then another friend um, who lives in Jeonju. So we were going to an international wine festival. Um, yeah, just like watch our adventures from that. This guy is, <laughs> should we right. go down that way? Let's go down this way. 
So we're here at off the, the question mark. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we are at the place where the um, wine festival is supposed to be, and it's not here. Okay, wait, there's people down that way, there, but I think they're doing something else. Hmm. It looks like they're setting up for like after like a soccer game or something. I don't know. Oh. It's supposed to be free like, wine. We'll figure it out. We'll figure yeah. it out. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we're here in. Incheon? Yeah. Yeah. Tongna. International Tongna. There's a bridge. Okay, so update. We did not we didn't find the wine festival because um, it was postponed and no one told us so we walked around the park for a long time and then we were really upset so then we were like okay fine we'll get food and then <laughs> food didn't exist we walked forever couldn't find any and eventually we found some so yeah it's been an adventure but we are eating meat now sorry to any vegan viewers i'm not look at that look at that meat yeah so we didn't go to the wine festival because it didn't happen but we had a lot of fun anyways just hanging out uh, so that's basically it i'm pretty much caught up and i wanted to like film this now is because i know that like i'm going to be i did i'm like already backed up with the amount of videos that i have that like don't have an actual like youtube video to go with it so i'm like i need to just edit the stuff and like get it out um because tomorrow actually i'm leaving for another trip I'm going to Busan with some friends um, because we have off tomorrow and Thursday or and Friday. Okay, I can't speak. Tomorrow and Friday also. So there will definitely be a separate vlog about that because that's I'm gonna really try to like film a lot of it because it's Busan. Um, yeah, so that is it for this video. Um, if you want to see more, please make sure to subscribe and uh, hit the like button. Don't know where it is hit the like button and comment for anything that you want to see i'm trying to do i'm trying to come up with more ideas of videos to film that are actually helpful to people um besides just like my adventures but if you're if you want to watch my adventures then like that's cool too i've been talking for a while and i am going to make dinner so Bye.